Metro Wisman Ranch. Today, it's time to get down with some beats. And I'm not talking about the headset. I'm talking about in the ground, pull them out, bloody red beats. We're gonna be pickling them today. So hang out, here we go. We've already begun the beginning process of this canning. Um, what we did is we pulled the beets, we cut the tops off, we washed the beets off, we took the tops and we chopped them up like you would kale, and we froze it. The beets, after we washed them off, I put them in this pan, and once they were all in here, I filled it just uh, with water, just above the beets. And then I put it on the stove, and I cooked it for about 25 or 30 minutes. Now, the reason you want to cook them for 25 or 30 minutes is you want to get the outer skin off. Even though you've washed it off, you gotta get the outer skin off. How do you know when they're done? Well, you pluck a beet out of the water, you run it under cool water, which is what we did here, and if you can easily remove the outer skin with your fingers, it's finished. Turn it off, remove it from the heat, and start peeling them. And that's it for that portion. So once they're in this pan here, we'll put them on the board, and we'll cut them into uh, little bite-sized pieces. Everybody's different. We'll use the smaller beets, something like this. We'll just leave whole and put in there. But this one here, we might cut in half to wear a bigger one. We will quarter it, boom, boom. And that's it. You're going to cut up a small onion and you're gonna cut it lengthwise, just like a hamburger type uh, onion. Cut it like that, and then I cut it in half and put it in here. For your spice pack, you're gonna take a three inch cinnamon stick and six to seven whole cloves. Put them on like a jelly cloth or cheese cloth, whatever. Put them on there. This is the finished product. And what I do is I just put it in there. And I am one for I believe that you can reuse your other ones too. So what I've done is I've taken those and bam, put it in there and I'll mix those in. Now the juice that you see is gonna be the leftover water. And what I did is I took a cup of this water that you cooked it in and I usually take about a cup to a cup and a half and it's called pot liquor. You can look it up, it's a true thing. Uh, but you take about a cup to a cup and a half of pot liquor and pour it in here. You're also gonna put in two cups of white vinegar. Two tablespoons of salt. A cup and a quarter of sugar. Once you get it together, you go ahead and mix it up. Oh, by the way, yes. I took my spice packs and I tie them with a rubber band. That way, boom, it, I don't have to do much of anything. And then I cook it on uh, medium to medium low heat. You can simmer it, whatever you need to do. But uh, I cook it on medium low, roughly, medium low heat. And I cook it until it all heats up nice and neat. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting on these to heat up and kind of start infusing the beets with all that good spices, I'll start cleaning up because beets make a horrible mess. And I'll start also prepping my pressure cooker. These are now done. I'm going to go ahead and fill up these jars using this right here. And I'll fill them up, leaving a, about a half inch head space, and then I'll put the caps on. Also, make sure that you go through and remove the little spice, uh, the little spice pack that you made and put in here. And once you do that, I just put mine right here, and I start putting them in there. These right here have already been filled. So the pot, I got a little bit left. I'll probably just keep those aside but it made three quart jars. I put my spice pack there. Uh, I'll go ahead and make another one here, but we'll take these and we'll get them, we'll clean off the top. Make sure you clean off the tops. 
and then you'll put the lids on there and we'll put them in the pressure cooker. You can either pressure cook it at five pounds of pressure for 15 minutes, or you can water bath it for 30 minutes. We choose the pressure cooker, it's quicker. Plus with the onions and everything, we just wanna make sure everything's groovy. I've let these go. They did their thing for 15 minutes. It's hard to do this with one hand. And there they are. So I will take these, set them over here, and let them cool, and that's it. There's the finished product. What I did is I went ahead and made another batch uh, during the time when I was doing everything else, and I put them in the pressure cooker. That way I could make one whole run, and there it is. Complete and done. Now we'll just let them sit before we eat them so that everything can infuse with each other and create some bloody red goodness. All right, well, that's all. That's how you make pickled beets. Ty, what do you think about pickled beets? They're good. You like them? Yep. All right, he likes them. That's what I'm talking. Well, I want to say thanks to mom because she's the one that passed this recipe on, showed me how to do it, and uh, it, it's just great, and I appreciate it. So what I'm going to do is make up the rest of these beets, and we'll be done. Thank you for watching. Have a great one. Hope your summer's going groovy. COVID-19 is on the way out, which is groovy. Gives us more time out in the pool, time to spend with family and friends and all that other goodness. And I hope that the rest of your summer goes great. Right, Ty? Yeah. All right. He's a man of many words. <laughs> all right. Hey, we'll talk to you later. This is Wisman Ranch. Oh, <laughs> you thought I was going to say we out. Nope. I want to give a shout out. To my son Gabe, who's down there in Jacksonville, and to all his buddies. Yes, yeah, Serge, even you, and your lovely bride. Okay, talk to you later. Go Navy. Uh-huh. All right. See ya. We out.